Make a grid of squares by using a big ruler to draw parallel lines across an A4 sheet of paper. Turn and repeat. Now you have squares for your daily draw. I'm going to fill this square with kind of like bubbles, but bubbles with a difference. Inside each bubble, it's going to be a little indentation like that. Kind of looks like a Pac-Man with its mouth just about to close. Reminds me actually, these little things, these little shapes of, there was a game I used to play as a child called, I think it was called Downfall, where you had to turn these dials and drop marbles from one dial to the next. It's a bit like a, a machine with lots of cogs. And you had to get the marbles down to the bottom. But you are also turning your opponent's dial on the other side of the game. So sometimes when you try to get your marbles down, you ended up getting your opponent's marbles down. I think it was called downfall. Looks a bit like that. Or perhaps lots of little crash helmets. I don't know. They look quite sculptural. I'd like to make this shape out of clay or something, or carve it out of stone. Quite lots of little tiny sculptures, or perhaps beans. It's a very nice shape to draw. I feel like I've invented this shape. It's a fun thing to do actually. Draw something over and over again until you're really happy with it, the shape of it and then you feel like you've invented that shape, like it's a new shape. You invent it, you get to name it. I wonder what I'd call this shape. So where there are little gaps, I put some tiny versions in. And I'm always looking for an opportunity to do a nice, great, big one. I think there's an opportunity coming up. Can I fit a big one in here? Mm, not that big. Maybe here. Yeah. Great big one. Excellent. Let's fill that gap and that gap. I like the idea that each one is a slightly different size. And all together they fit perfectly in this square. I wonder how many I can fit in this square. Each one's a different size. I'll estimate about maybe 40. 